<laughs> All right, let's jump in. So tonight is the first session of the month. Therefore, it is real dice night. Pew, 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 pew. I'm going to throw my dice up in the air. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Oh, I better turn my camera on so you guys can see me. That's no good. Uh, okay. I'm here. <laughs> ah! <laughs> turn it off, turn it off. <laughs> okay, gosh, last week was interesting. We, we sort of wrapped up essentially the, the aftermath uh, of, of the last arc, the whole city divided arc. Mm -hmm. The players are now heading west uh, on their way uh, en route back to the city of Bexley, which is the city they all began the campaign in 42 episodes ago. Um, so a little excitement there. Um, a lot of things happening in that uh, neighborhood of the world, so to speak. And uh, for a number of different players, some stuff to unravel. But um, they were on this ship, uh, taking, uh, seeking passage on the ship. They've been helping out, or they paid so they didn't have to help out. Uh, but they're still helping here and there where they can. Um, the ship had um, a large case of sending stones. Each one uh, corresponds to a different uh, <clears throat> harbor, basically, along the coast, uh, where they get instructions on, on what to do, where to go, other ship track, uh, where other ships are heading and such, storms and all. And um, they kept getting bumped a little further and further west uh, away from shore. Um, some of the crew was talking about, you know, it's, it happens sometimes, but it's not um, their favorite thing to be that far out. Uh, but a lot there was a lot of shipping going on this time of year, and they had nothing in their ship. It was a return trip, so um, they get, you know, uh, low priority. Um, at one point, a storm came out of almost nowhere, very quickly developed, and started uh, rocking the ship. Um, a horn could be heard from the distance, and I believe it was the first mate or the captain that uh, shouted that it was a Sahagwin um, and that everyone needs to prepare uh, for battle. So uh, as far as the opening scene goes, <clears throat> the vast waters of the crystal deeps stretch on and on far past the horizon. Far, far away from the safety of land, a beast of a storm rages. And in the middle of this massive storm, a small speck can be seen on the water's surface. Let's take a closer look, shall we? Together, as we race across the water's surface, one massive swell at a time, we see the minute speck finally come into focus. A sailboat built for shipping. <clears throat> it's as though the storm above and the waters below are putting forth all of their effort to decimate the ship and remove it from their presence for good. Waves crash against the boat, flooding the deck with icy cold salt water. Hurricane gusts of wind batter both ship and crew as they rush to secure the sails. Waves of Sahagwin, water weirds, marrows, and merfolk ride the crashing waves onto the deck as they attack the crew, attempting to drag many down to their watery grave. Four familiar figures stand on the deck of the ship, being pelted by the cold, hard-driven rain and wave after wave of seawater. We join them now. Here we go. Here we go, y'all. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> awesome. All right, let's crack open this beautiful map here and um, get you guys underway. I'll share this back. Oh, 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 <laughs> I jinxed it. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> so, um, oh, right, one pirate I forgot to mention was a massive sort of fish-like creature that flew out of the water and crashed and slid again on the deck up against the main mast and turned around and screeched at everyone with like a sort of an alien jaw that drops open and has uh, mucusy spittle flying out. Um, namely in uh, Emerson's and Brixie's direction, although um, Mina they and Kayla. It. Yeah. Yep. <clears throat> um, all right. Wait, wait. Oh, oh, so 
I will center this map so our lovely viewers can also get a good feel for what's going on. What's going on? All right, where are we? There we go. <laughs> I rolled a 20. Let's try to be heightened, says I. Mm -hmm. So take it away. Um, uh, actually, I guess roll some initiative. Um, Mina, you can get, unless anyone else is doing anything as these things flop aboard the ship. Is anyone else, uh, sorry, Mina, go ahead and take your shot if you want. And is anyone else doing anything? Um, um, and I do have daylight cast. Um, so let me double check. One All thing. right. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm going to use this. This can affect me. Daylight is a third level spell. Dan, should I roll in for initiative? Um, yeah, you would be alerted, at, I think, as, as the sound of, at the sound of this giant creature crashing on the deck above. Emil as well. You definitely know something's up. Seas have gotten rough, and that's sort of a clue in. Seb uncomfortably sort of, like, squawks around, and, and, and it's like, Trying to sit in a bench in the corner of your room. <laughs> um, okay, Dan, so mm -hmm. uh, clarify a thing. The daylight spell does not actually say that it is actual sunlight. Mm -hmm. So would I have disadvantage at all under the daylight spell? Um, I would just, I would check the uh, uh, sunlight sensitivity. It doesn't say that this, yeah. Cause... If it doesn't mention the daylight spell, then you're good. Because <clears throat> um, it says in... Um, go ahead and take a peek at that. I'm going to keep everyone else rolling while, while you look yeah. that up. And I'll look it up too, if you need. Um, um, okay, so Brixing... Direct, it says direct sunlight. Yeah, if it doesn't mention the daylight spell, then we'll say for tonight's session it's fine. Cool. Uh, okay, uh, Brixing... I got a 13. Oh, okay. Let me plug um... your... Actually, let me Ooh, see what Brixie's going to do. Hit. Oh, nice. Okay. <clears throat> All right, Brixie, what, okay, what were you going to do? I want to get you. I'm going to cast Conjuring Animals. Okay. And how did I put my books? There. Um, okay. And now they have a one for Concentrating, and I'm gonna do this because they have all eight of them have their own initiative. Okay. So Dan, I don't know how you want to do this. Um, uh, no pun intended. Elves, <laughs> <laughs> where are you? All right. Initiative. Oh, you know what? Dan, can you pop me in for initiative count 10, please? You got it. Um, you know what? Never mind. We're going to ask two giant eagles. Okay. Two I giant eagles. 17 initiative. 17 mm -hmm. for Mina. 21. 21 for Emil. Nice. Um, M's not here, so. Mm -hmm. Uh, you know, I'm just going to cheat and roll hers right in here because she's not here, so. Woo! Ooh, okay. Totally juicy. And Brixie, go ahead and roll for your initiative, too. Just, you know, roll the d20. Oh, you don't have anything to add, so whatever the d20 comes up as. This <clears throat> giant eagle. <laughs> <laughs> nope, not what I wanted. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Say something. Or did you hear anything that I said? No. A giant eagles. I've got the two giant eagles, but I didn't get your initiative or anything else okay all right so this is my initiative uh -huh. uh, do you want us to roll or do you want us to use you can just roll your regular die 
uh, at home. That's fine. <clears throat> bum, 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 <clears throat> Twelve. Twelve. Okay. All right, um, so beforehand, um, since uh, Mina called it, um, Mina, you uh, roll the 20, you said? Nat yes, 20? Yes, and I did call it as a sharpshooter shot. Okay. And this is was a natural 20? It was a natural or 20. Or total, okay, nice. Nat 20. Um, if you want to do the numbers, that would be a 21 to hit. Oh, oh gosh, yeah, that uh, that hits. <laughs> Let me double check it, but I really don't think. Oh yeah, that hits. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, and what are you hitting it with now? Your your bow and arrow. Crossbow. Crossbow. Okay. Yeah. In the in the pouring rain, you sort of wipe the uh, water off your face as if another wave has just passed you, and you knock the bolt, <laughs> fire it. It goes just like through a bunch of the rigging. And pierces it right in the back of its, you know, um, down its thick mucus-covered spine. Oh, I rolled double sevens. <laughs> nice, okay. So that's 14, 17, 27 points of damage. 27, beautiful. Uh, it makes this terrible <laughs> kind of crunchy, crackly sound in its voice as it rears back around to some of the... To, um, M and Brixie kind of looking at them still, uh, very angry. <laughs> um, bolt sticking about three inches out of its back now. Most of it's uh, going underneath the skin. <laughs> Grin and reload. Nice. <laughs> All right. Um, and Brixie, you've summoned these two giant eagles, and they're going to do their initiative. Um, Okay. Um, all right, and that's your turn. So at the very top of the round, one of your giant eagles gets to go. <clears throat> what, um, they can make their multi-attack. They can make one attack with their beak and one with their talons. Do you have anything in particular you want them to do, or do you want them to do those? Do you want them to do their beak and talon attack? Uh, oh, eagle one. Uh, that is. I don't. I think I'm just catching every few words that you're saying. Hang on. Mm -hmm. uh. Um. While she's doing that, uh, <laughs> let's see. Yeah, all right, the giant, two giant eagles have sprung forth um, to life. Ooh, you know what would be cool? Okay, so she has these little, like, origami pieces of paper she tape pulls out and throws them into the air, and they just <laughs> unfold into these huge uh, living creatures. <clears throat> um, immediately getting drenched with the heavy rain, uh, one flies up and, and perches on, on the mast, you know, looking over the battlefield. The other goes straight the giant fish creature. Uh, and I don't have it on the map here because I didn't want to add too much confusion to what was going on. But um, there are a number of, there's probably a good 12 to 15 crew pe crewmates here fending off about um, 25, 28 different uh, oh. sea creatures that are trying to board up. Still, they're not really on deck. They're sort of hitting them with, old, you know... Um, Whatever they can find and try to keep them off of the boat. <laughs> nice, Warren. <laughs> okay. Um, so the eagle one rolled a 14. Well, it's just uh, if they have different initiatives, so uh, only one of them has gone first. They, one of them rolled a high initiative. Um, this was Eagle 2, 
Um, so a 12. Now you get to add 5 to that, which is 17, um, which hits. So go ahead, and um, that's the first attack. Uh, the eagle... Oops, where's my... Um, Combat tracker. Okay, the eagle comes down for an attack. It leans in with its beak and grabs a, a chunk of this uh, mucusy covered um, scaly flesh off the back of this creature. Uh, go ahead and roll. Uh, it's 1d6 plus 3. So go ahead and roll a 1d6. It's still flapping its wings and its face as it pierced that and flew back to keep a bit of a safe dif uh, distance. Um, yeah, so go ahead and roll a one d six, and then we'll and then add three to it. Uh, you know, the beak attack is 1d6. The talon attack, which will be next, is a 2d6. Um, it can do multi-attack, but it says one is with the beak and one is with the talon. That's, uh, that's the way it's written. It has to be beak and then talon. <clears throat> Uh, and it's only one eagle attacking right now. The other one isn't in initiative yet. That one has uh, a lower initiative. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you said they had uh, separate. Um, okay. All right. Let me move the other one up to 22. Okay. Um, so they both hit. So roll 1d6 for both of them for their beak attacks. <laughs> okay, um, did you add a uh, plus three to that already? Oh, no problem. Okay. Um, and they both get to roll a 1d6 plus three. So one of them hits for four. Again, piercing some of that um, flesh out. Mm-hmm. The other one also hits and, and comes down. Woo! Nice. Uh, picking at the same spot, dealing a, a solid nine points of damage out of it. Thanks. Um, okay, cool. Now you can go ahead and uh, roll a second attack for each of them as they attempt to do their um, claw attack. Taking advantage of the wound that they've uh, got. Okay. Um, the first one hits, and let's uh, go ahead and roll an attack for the other one, if you would. Okay, um, that one misses. Um, as all this flesh is being picked out, uh, Eagle 2's goes down with its talons and just grabs a chunk and sort of flaps its wings and wrestles with it for a minute, just scraping out um, another row of, of uh, scaly flesh from the creature. Go ahead and roll 2d6 plus 3. Um, for that one. Woo! Nice. Okay, dealing 10 points. Of damage to this this creature. It's already it's got a, a bunch of gashing along at the back of its spine near the near the uh, bolt that Mina sent through it. All right, um, that brings us to the meal. You are I think down uh, below decks, although you've been alerted to this. Um, it 
you're looking at about um, 35 feet, 40 feet to get, you know, above board. We'll say about 30 because you're pretty close to the, uh, you got the nice seats up front. So you'd come out right behind uh, the fish creature there. <laughs> uh, right, that'll be right in the middle. Yes. Uh, let me put you on here. You, essentially, uh, come on. Sorry, that's my mouse. I'm going to blame that. That's where I would come out? Yeah. <laughs> you, if, you're, if you're doing it, you race up the stairs, and you come around, and some, well, you see some water splashing down the stairs to you. You're holding onto the rope and pulling up, and you see just this tail, this fishy tail flopping back and forth, this massive creature just outside the door. Okay, so having high initiative, I guess I... I... Get a good jump, but I'm going to tell uh, Seb mentally to stay safe. But uh, oh. as as I run out the door, Seb's going to land on my shoulder. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to I'm going to come up to to where I'm shown there. Uh, at which point, Seb will see the eagles and will turn around and go right back down below decks because he doesn't want anything to do with them. <laughs> um, is it? Can I stay in the doorway and be five feet further back, or am I going to end up in melee range? Uh, no, you can do that if you want. Sure. Okay, because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pull my bow as I go up, because that's that's what I would prefer to do. And then, uh, if it's possible, I like to hold an attack until somebody is in melee range so that I can try and get a sneak attack off. Okay, neat. Uh, you do just that. You Instead of stepping out, you stay just around the door, watching around the corner, waiting for... Um, your chance to go. What were you waiting for? What was the trigger? Nice. When I can get a sneak attack, so when, when somebody's oh, in the other range. Okay, nice, nice. All right, and that brings us down to Emrosina. Um, Emrosina's a little awe inspired uh, watching Brixie unleash, you know, call forth these two giant eagles and, you know, sort of points at the creature and watching them dish all this damage out and attack. Um, what is she going to do? <laughs> oh, and she's got her wings. I think she's... Let me do a roll. I don't know if she would be feel confident enough to fly in a storm like this. <laughs> oh, yeah. She's feeling pretty confident. <laughs> um, I'll, I'll give it a round here while she considers it. I think for now she would probably... Oh, I know what she's going to do for sure. In this lightning storm, she just, <clears throat> you see her um, close her eyes, take a deep breath in as, as her face is just running with this, the water from the storm. A loud crack of thunder rumbles overhead. She just, with her eyes closed, raises one hand up in the air and calls lightning down uh, onto her enemy. Um, and I believe that if she does outdoors in a storm, yep, I guess she gets an extra D10. <laughs> All right, so she's, if it hit. I really have to get a new mouse. Stop doing that. Okay. <laughs> Oop. Does it save? Oh. Mm -mm. Um. Add a fourth one. Okay. Uh. Mina, Kaylin, uh, Eve, <laughs> Meal is really close. Emil, you're standing watching, and you look down as you see on your arm the hairs are starting to stand up on end as this giant bolt of lightning strikes down and hits the creature in front of you, um, called forth by uh, <laughs> Emrosina. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Scorch marks go run across the top of the deck, and yeah, you just you take a second to kind of leap back and wait for this to be done. <laughs> this is so much water, um, and the, the flash of light, the, the lightning uh, dissipates almost as quickly as it arrived, um, and that's M's turn. That was pretty legit, dealing sixteen points of damage to the creature. Mina, you're up. Okay. Uh Feeling confident, I'm going to just take another step over here, calmly uh, make another sharpshooter shot. Okay. That is another natural 20. 
Nice, I'm okay. Nice. nice. Real nice, nice. Awesome. Brings all the luck. <laughs> Nine plus uh, plus ten is nineteen points of damage. Okay, beautiful. Woo! I'm gonna have to start readjusting. You guys are kicking so much bad. Um, that'd be a lot of damage. Okay, nice. Um, it's it's not looking. It, it's looking it's, hurt. It's two natural twenties in a row. This doesn't happen normally. <laughs> yeah, yeah, still it's nice to have the real dice come through. It feels so good. Awesome. So you do the same. Uh, you move into a better position, um, notch your, your bolt, aim real careful despite the storm and the weather, and just that, uh, pull that hair trigger, and foof, fires in, foof, and it just disappears into its side this time. <laughs> kind of rears around. It seems to have some level of intelligence. It kind of looks over at you this time, but then looks back at the, the people in front of it. Um, yeah, that's all we see so far. And okay. mm -hmm. I will now not reload. Mm -hmm. Okay. Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> any, any other movement or anything else for me now? Uh, nope. I'm just gonna stay here. No one else has really been hit yet, right? Right. So I'm. Yeah, whoops. Not what I meant to do. I'm just gonna. I'm. Yeah. I'm just gonna stick around right there. Okay. Oh, and I'm keeping an eye on the mm -hmm. crew members. Mm -hmm. Two around to see if I'm just watching to see if anybody gets hurt too badly. Ah. Okay. Single healer. <laughs> and I'll push the thing down, and that's my turn. Oops. Come on, mouse. That's the first thing I should put on the wishes list. <laughs> you mouse. Okay. <clears throat> Kaylin, you are up. Okay. <laughs> um, let's see here. I'm definitely going to have to running here um i'm guessing i'm probably have to sprint to get over to him right 5 10 15 20 25 30 yeah five or six spaces i think is my walking yeah uh, you, you're now 30 feet because of the, i think the boots or whatever it was something that gave you an extra five yeah, so, so um yeah you'd be able to walk five five spots i mean uh, yeah. six Right. Let me. Um, so I'm going to use my. Oops, let's put that. Let's put that aside. I'm going to use my sprint ability then and okay. get Kaylin over so there to him. Um, there we go. Actually, you know what? I'm going to move my um, six spaces and um, use my bow and arrow. Um, nice. Okay. You hustle up around a bunch of the rigging here. Find a nice place actually to rest your. Oh no, you got your bow and arrow, so you, you mm -hmm. lean up against something to get a little more balance and yeah, yeah. fire that yeah. bow and arrow. Yeah. And wait. Okay, so. <laughs> so that was a. Because I have plus six, so that's 20. So that hits. And three piercing. So that would be six damage. Six? Mm-hmm. All right, nice. <clears throat> you unleash your arrow again. This one sticks like halfway in its hide. It gets caught, you know, between a couple of the large scales and the side of the creature, just under one of its right fins. <clears throat> kind of spits a little more of that, you know, uh, gooey spit. It sort of has this coating again of some goo. <laughs> okay. right. Nice. Um, I am... Is he how how is he looking, Dan? Is he looking pretty or she looking pretty beat it's up? Looking or? Hurt, but not not it looks really like a fairly strong creature, whatever this thing is. Okay. 
All right, I'll pass on my turn. Okay. <clears throat> I'm so mad right now. Mm -hmm. um, all right, that's Brixie. What you got? First off, I'm so mad at myself right now. Oh, no. It wasn't, <laughs> it wasn't my headphones that were messed up. Oh, no. It was the volume that was turned down. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's better, I guess, right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, Not broken okay. headphones. That's <laughs> all right. It's uh, to Brixie's turn. Dun, okay. Dun, dun. Um, I'm going to cast Tidal Wave. It's not a... Uh, yeah, okay. That is... Okay. And, um, yeah. Uh, Conjure Wave, crash down on area with rain. 30 feet long, 3 feet wide, blah, blah, blah. Nice, okay. So, each creature, so... 30 feet long, so... Mm -hmm. It can be up to... 30 feet long, 10 feet wide, 10 feet tall. But if you want to adjust it, it sounds like you can adjust it. It says it can be up to that high, that that size. Okay, so I count it whatever size this is. And move closer. Okay. So I can be closer water to cast this. Okay. doke. Who would be in the area? 30 feet long. It's probably going to be 30 feet long, but you can, um, especially given all the water, but uh, the rest of it you can adjust or you can try and get in a different direction. Um, if you were to do it right from where you are, it might hit a meal and push him down the stairs. But if you got just like directly above it or below it, you could try and blast it off the you know, side of the, the boat. Um, I'm going to do that. Okay, nice. Because Brixie wouldn't know that Emil was on deck. So. That's true. Yeah, to the point. Okay. Okay, so uh, it says it, I don't have to roll, but... Uh, uh, what is it, a deck saving yeah. throw? That's on me? Okay, let's do it. Uh, and we said that my AC was 17. Oh, my AC go up. So I leveled up. My spell save DC. Uh, not uh, yet. Um, I think because it's your um proficiency so bonus, it'll add to that. Yeah, now that's not for another level or two. I think you'll okay, get so, so four. That's it. Oh, ah. actually, yours is fifty-four, Brixie. Uh, with a roll, you rolled an eight. Um, listen, I. Anyway, I was just fixing your max HP. It, it is 54. <clears throat> it is? Oh, mm -hmm. okay. Okay. Okay, cool. um, Okay, anyway, uh, yeah, so if it's 17, right, 3 plus... Uh, so whoever's um, in this area who has to make a deck, same it through. Um, you know what, uh, I'm just going to do it right on this. I'm just going to click your saving throw. And that'll tell me what it is. Save. Dex DC think... 28. That's not right. Hang on. Oh. <laughs> um, no, this should be your. Uh, what, what are your casting stats? Wisdom, I think. Yeah. Yes. Okay. That's why my wisdom is high. Uh, <laughs> it's 14 currently, is your, is your okay. spell save DC. I don't. Oh, that's my, it's my, oh, I'm thinking of my other character. Has a trick ah. shot save of a 17. Okay. Yeah, okay. Um, so, it rolled a 20. Okay, it takes roll. half, it has, it takes half of the damage. Nice, so. I roll 48. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm getting this whole entire area, Dan. Mm hmm Oh, right, so, so born to. So that means um you yeah and heal and have to make a dexterity save of 14. oh let's see if you're doing here okay five ten because uh, brixie wouldn't know yeah sure. okay yep go ahead and roll a um let's see you can throw <laughs> caitlin caitlin did you save 14 is what? oh no i'm healed Mine, mine is um, 21. Oh, yeah. 
Okay, so 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Half is 14, but Emil, Perfect. you take Emil, you take 24. Half of 24 is 12. Mm, 12. Be 12. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I can't do math. Uh, no problem. Uh, Thank all you, right. Sam. Kaylin, you've got you take 12 points of damage. Is this, oh, go ahead, Emil. What you got? Can I see Brixie from where I am? Yes. I'm going to uncanny dodge it then. Oh. And does that mean that you would automatically succeed on and, and take uh -oh. the half damage? Ah, yeah. Well, you were. Oh, hang on. Um, evasion yeah. is for spells, uncanny dodge is for melee attacks. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so even oh, with the 24 dexterity throw, I would still take damage? You take half. You take half, okay. Kaylin, yes. Yeah, so, so what is that? So tw 12 what? points 12. to Kaylin. Okay. And I, so I'm sorry, Emil. Uh, is that work for the spell, or is that not going to work in this case? It says attack, so I'm assuming. I guess it's only attack. Uh, no, yeah. Melee and ranged attacks, but not spell. With evasion, uh, hang on. Um, evasion is specifically for spells like that. Yeah. But this one doesn't say, like, uh... <clears throat> oh, well, you know what? For for tonight, Emil, I'm going to let you have that because it's really cool. And we will check on it. I'll check on it after, and we'll just we'll go from there. Um, so that means it's uh, you'd still take the half damage, but you'd succeed automatically, right, um, for the half damage on Candy Dodge. Okay, okay, okay. Evasions, you can. Oh, when can you dodge? When attack, you can. Um, when you're when you when an attacker that you can see hits you with an attack, you can use your reaction to half the attack damage against you. Okay. And then, um, invasion is you can nimbly dodge out of the. Way of certain area effectors such as blah, 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 blah. Damage when you, you are okay. when you're subject uh, blah, 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 cool. that, that's cool, Brixie. <laughs> all right, yes, that to me that sounds definitely like um, you would have the damage. It, it is an attack, so I think um, I think we'll count it. Um, so you'll uh, so Emil, it's twelve uh, points of damage. However, because you didn't make the save itself. You do get knocked prone in the process as part of the spell. Um, so this huge, right after this lightning cracks and dissipates, um, you, know, you see Brixie swirl her hands a bit like a waterbender, and this huge tidal wave pulls from the, as, as a small wave comes up over the side, it's just shaped into this tidal wave that blasts this creature. Um, and some of the residue of that uh, passes and hits you and just knocks you down, almost down the series, but you manage to sort of grab onto <laughs> the handle as you go, you're, you're currently prone at the start of your turn. Whew. <laughs> All right, and oh. let me add that damage to the creature. It was um, 24 and it failed, so it gets the full 24. And it's not prone. Mm -hmm. Whew, the nice. creature took full damage. Not prone. Yes. <clears throat> or did it? Or did it pass? Nope, it failed. And yeah, so the creature also um, uh, is I sort of not going. Under <laughs> attacks now. Nice. <laughs> it gets flopped down on its side and it's trying to right itself currently. Uh, anything else for Brixie? Uh, do I have a buff? Can I do a bonus action? Probably not. That was my third spell. That was my third spell slot. Mm -hmm. um. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, shit. <laughs> Anything else to do? Oh, that's, that's it. Yeah, she said she was done. Oh, okay. I'm done. Um, go ahead and click the <laughs> the down arrow. That's okay. I know I'll, I'll get. I know we haven't done uh, the combat tracker in a while, but if you click the down dragon arrow, it'll it'll move it to the next person. Um, that way, um, you know when everyone's I, all set. Uh, 
it should be the bottom left of the combat tracker. It's the dragon head and has sort of like a. I don't see. Nope. All right. Um, I take I a peek around. It. I'll. I'll. You can show me later. Yeah. Okay, that brings us to Felix. So you definitely know something's going on now. <laughs> Lightning is struck. The tidal wave is washed over the top. <laughs> Water starting to splash and pour down into the galley uh, mm -hmm. where, you're, where you're preparing some meals and eating and such. <laughs> My sandwich is getting wet. Oh, jeez. Yeah. <laughs> this is disappointing. Too much I salt. Couldn't have gone worse. Yeah. <laughs> um, Dan, how far away am I from the deck of the um, of the ship? Oh, you're a little further because you're in the galley, but still not terribly far. You're probably about forty-five feet worth of going, of walking. Mm. Maybe forty. I'd say forty. You're a little bit past the quarters here. Let's see here. I can probably do commander strike, but let me just double check the wording on that. That's oh. a little funky. Oh, okay. Um, you take an attack action. Nope. Curses. <laughs> Hit with that. Nope. Can't do that. Um, I'll just. I guess I'll just dash up next to it. Okay. Yeah. Um, you hustle. Why are you lying there on the ground? There's a fight on the deck. <laughs> As you're running up, Seb flies past you, like back down to the the cabin thing, and then, <laughs> then you see Emil like, hanging on to the um, <laughs> edge of the banister there. All right. <laughs> Anything um, else for Felix, or is there? Um, no, I can't really take any other actions. So. Okay. Oh no. <sighs> oh no. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, what is this? That'd be so appropriate. Um, actually, oh, would my positioning trigger Emil's attack? This held action? You're, uh, because you dashed, yeah, I'm sorry. Let me put you on the um, thing here. You go just... I seriously need a mouse. All right, try this again. You go just past Emil. And end up right behind it. Yes. So as you dash a crossing, where do you do it, Emil? Uh, Emil, well, can you do it? Yeah, I guess so. But I think you're attacking from prone, so it would be with disadvantage, Emil. Right. Yeah. But you can do it. As you're picking yourself up, you take the chance to. But wouldn't it be just a straight roll? Because technically, since the creature's prone, people would get advantage. Ooh, it is prone. Yeah, it's prone too. So you're actually lined right up. <laughs> uh, I thought when he was prone, range had disadvantage. And ah, uh, yeah, advantage. you're right. You're right. Uh, he's on the ground, mm. flopping like a fish. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that would be with disadvantage a fifteen. Mm, that misses. Um, you try to to you know get your bow and your arrow, and you let loose a. Uh, a, um, an arrow just flies, just clinks the edge of its scales and, and at an angle where it deflects. Uh, it just disappears into the heavy pouring rain. <clears throat> All right. Well, it can't do that delightful one. Don't mess with my eagles. <clears throat> Oh, I. Okay. Ah, uh, what? Sorry. Uh -oh. Um, I didn't realize yeah. I had this. Yeah, sorry. Uh... <laughs> it's not great when the DM says that on yeah. the monster's turn. He's just looking at the baseball scores. It's fine. Guys. Yeah. <laughs> it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I'm reading through this to make sure I get it right. Like, mm. wow. Oh. Um, I don't want to cheat because I have the monster. Ring. I'm not going to cheat. <laughs> <laughs> I have to have the monster. Ring. <laughs> or okay, I think it would go for um, before it does that. I feel like that would be something it would try later. We'll save that a little bit. Uh, oh gosh! <laughs> now my heart is racing. <laughs> <laughs> mm. 
Oh, it's doing this all day. Okay. <clears throat> oh, gosh. Uh, but who's going to do it to? Um, Felix is behind there. Felix always gets hurt. Um, so let's <laughs> we'll have it roll a disadvantage for Felix. Can I have a third <laughs> funeral for Felix? Uh, okay. Uh, Emil doesn't really see. Ooh. Right, that's not we need to splash because from... it's been X episodes since Dan killed Felix. Mm, mm. Mm. Oh no, Hello. all right. Hello. I like that idea. <laughs> it picks itself up with using half its, its speed and um, spins around looking at those mm. that just attacked it, spotting. Kaylin first as it spins around because mm -hmm. the oh. she was a one to choose. Sorry, Kaylin. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> um, it has uh, you know these fins along the side and like these um, not quite tentacles, but like little uh, handless um, gelatinous arms that are just like sort of sticking and moving to right itself on, on the deck. Um, two of them extend whoosh, whip out at Kalen, becoming like full-on tentacles as they try and, and hit you. Yeah. Oh, God. Uh, okay. This is... Oof, my stars. Mm -hmm. Are you kidding me? Sorry. Uh -huh. my, my mouse lets go now. The right and left click buttons, they just let go halfway through, so... <laughs> Oh my gosh, it's a critical hit! Oh no. Dan, do not. Okay. Don't feel bad. Well, the Don't damage itself isn't too bad. Never, you know which command to put out. <laughs> Dealing 21 points of damage. <laughs> Slaps and lashes. One right across uh, the back of your jaw and your neck, sort of jarring your brain for a second as the other one knocks the wind out of you. Uh, and the tentacles, um, oh, do they wrap around you? Let's see. Oh, no. Nope, they just hit, but they sting as they hit. You feel this burn, almost like a jellyfish's sting. And, uh, oh, you know what, I'm not going to do it that way. Uh, no, I didn't want to do that. Um, what I meant to do was have you roll a constitution saving throw because it's regular dice night. <laughs> Great. Wonderful. That would be a 21. <gasps> you quickly turn and, and, and guard, you know, the, the spots that were being struck by the tentacles with your armor, You're placing your armor between you and any exposed skin or, or thin material okay. Okay. um preventing anything worse from happening <laughs> okay good, good. only toledo <sighs> all right sorry i'm just looking at some other other things that are going to happen here <clears throat> all right um at the end of the round <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap. Um Wow. Oh gosh. <laughs> Dan, don't I'm sorry, there's just some amazing stuff. <clears throat> it, it stands up uh, almost like on its tail, uh, now towering above almost 18, maybe 20 feet tall. As it looks down, all the tentacles sort of stretch out over the sides of the boat down into the water. And the water around the ship rises around the back part of the ship and just comes crashing down on everyone within a 90-foot range, which is everybody here. Um, oh, God. So, any okay, creature now that has a strength saving throw. Oh, no. I have a 
Now bottom. my sandwich is really ruined. Oh. <laughs> hey, Randy. Oh my um, gosh. Is it too late to cast the water walk spell? <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> I, got a, I got a 20, Dan. Oh, nice. <clears throat> three? So who got a three? Four and no. Me? Yes. Oh, Where's no. Emil. Right, Emil's got a three. Brixie has... Eighteen! I wrote natural 19, but I have a minus one. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Amina? Uh, so I rolled my character die. The very first roll I got was a one. Um... And I have a minus one. So that's a zero. <laughs> so brutal. Oh. Uh, yes. And Felix and is a... um. 22 total. Woohoo! Doggy, all right. Oh, so shiny dies. Oh, Kaylin, you see this coming. You grab on to the rigging next to you and hang on for dear life. Felix, um, you do the same. You sort of uh, reach your, your uh, lighting stick back around the corner of that door and just pierce it into a step and hold on. Uh, next to um, Emil, who takes a leap back from that as he's standing up, <laughs> uh, he's half, you know, a partially prone there now, so he um, is already in for a bit of trouble. Brixie, you um, reach up uh, just to your left is is some of the rope uh, between the rigging, and you grab that and put your arm around it once to hang on. Uh, ooh, hang on, I've got to do. Um, oh, do I have to? Oh, hey, Dan, do I have to make a concentration check? Um, no, only if you take damage. Take damage. Okay. Um, so I think you're still good. All right. Okay, cool. Um, cool. That's a strength. Strength saving throw. So. All right, she's got a pretty good modifier for that. Uh, it wasn't enough. <clears throat> um, and that was what? Uh, no, 12. Okay. Oh. However, <clears throat> Mina and M and Emil, you three are, are, are not as fortunate and do not have anything quite nearby um, to grab onto. As this water washes over all of you, you feel you were expecting it to crash and hit you and push you in a certain direction. But as it crashes over you, it feels like it has either a mind of its own or that it's being controlled by something as it pulls you over the side of the deck and down into the water 20 feet below the surface. So I'm just going to put a meal not too far. What's that? Guys, it's okay. I have water no. walk cats. I have water <laughs> walk prepared. <laughs> um, and Racina gets pulled in near the meal and... Um, and Mina, yeah, you also get pulled uh, just over the side, but 20 feet underwater as the water just pulls you down and, and lets go. Uh, I think it lets go, actually. Let me just check. This is at the top of the round. Grasping tide. 20 feet into Grasping the water and be knocked prone. Mm. What? So essentially, you're... you're like upside down in the water. It takes away half your movement speed um, <clears throat> as you're thrust about. For the if you're swimming, your swimming speed is half of your mm, movement speed. Mm. So do we move a quarter speed or just straight up half a speed? Uh, it'd be quarter, basically, yeah. Half of the half. So like <laughs> one and a half, squ two squares? Yeah. We'll round up, yeah. <laughs> two squares, okay. Um, just as two marrow creatures make it aboard oh, no. around the other members of the um, <clears throat> crew trying to fend these, what? Trying to fend Maybe them off. For a team party kill? This would be fun. It's okay, it's okay, we can't drown, I'm fine. We're hmm. fine. fine, this is fine. <laughs> All right, now that ends its turn, and, and they don't get a turn because that's the top. Okay, so giant eagles are up. Giant eagles are go. <laughs> Can I command the eagles to swoop down and grab two people that are near them? Which... They can only attack. <clears throat> Ugh. Okay. And I'm going to roll for eagle one. 
Eagle one, fox two. Uh, you know what? Let me, let me think about that because I don't want to jip you either. I mean, if you wanted to take their action to try and grab, some, well, the thing is they're twenty feet under underwater currently. Yeah, never mind. Mm. <laughs> so sixteen for Eagle One. <laughs> oh come on, Discord. Why you do this, yo? <laughs> Push me out of the water, guys. And hey, Dan, nothing yeah. to worry about. We're all out of the water. Ah, whew, thank goodness. Yeah, yeah. yeah we're all out. <laughs> um, all of them are killed. Um, we're fine. We're fine. Whoo, <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> and we somehow found a big chest of gold. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. It was in the belly of the okay. creature. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> okay, so 16 for the first eagle. Mm -hmm. and then... Ah. Natural nine. Ah, uh, they both miss. The first one swings down and tries to bite. Mm. Wait, a 16 misses? 16 just misses. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so for my second attack. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, 22 for the f first eagle. Oh, come on. Misses. It's all an eleven. Uh, it tries. It goes back in. Uh, it's just this really strong gust of wind that these. Five for the first eagle. That was for the second oh, eagle. Yeah, that one hits. The other one, okay. however, just takes advantage of this gust of wind and goes in full force. So uh, these are talents. This is what you would get for attacking my friends. Mm -hmm. Sand piercing damage. How much? Fifteen. Mm -hmm. Nice. Okay. Uh, let's see. Okay. Yeah. It's starting to um, get a number of scars and wounds on it. Um, as we transit. Oh, anything else for the eagles? I guess that's it, right? That's all they can do. Um, uh, they have moots. <gasps> okay. They have. I'm gonna move my eagles where the other two people are because they have a fly speed of eighty. Okay. I forgot to move them last time, so they're gonna attack these two next round. Oh, all can right. Can I move them? Yep. Yeah. Uh, well, I don't know if you. I'll move them for now. I think there's a way I can give you control, but it'll probably take me eight hours to yeah. get us set up. Yeah. 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 So um, is this so, like where yeah. you roughly like them? One? Mm hmm Yeah. Nice. Perfect. They swoop down and over towards the two marrow that, that boarded the ship. And um, as it transitions to Emil's turn, this creature, still perched upright, um, starts speaking. No more guttural sounds. It's still sloshing and doing this scream sound that you hear, but in your minds, you hear it speak, even to those underwater. <clears throat> uh, and it, it says, um, You will pay for crossing the Master's Lair. The Ancient One will not allow this. You will feed. <clears throat> it will feed on you tonight. And that's where we'll take our bio break. Yay. What? Because <laughs> it's already bio time. Oh, did it not go through because I was covering my mouth too much? Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, it did. We're just I'm like, what? What's happening? <laughs> uh... Yay! Dramatic break. Yes, Randy. Yes. <laughs> Commercial break. Awesome. <laughs> and here I was like, yeah, we're just going on a quick boat ride. I don't need to buy any new potions. I'm okay with no potions in my inventory. <laughs> you thought and wrong. Here we are. <laughs> no, it's okay. You have a cleric now. We have a cleric now, Yay! but you're underwater. <laughs> it's okay. I get to walk on water when my turn comes around. <laughs> okay. Well, that's well, actually yeah. really good to know. Actually. I specifically prepared nice. water walk because we were on a boat. <laughs> Okay. All right. Good. You <laughs> also have a girl here one, so don't forget about that. Yeah, I know. I have those prepared. I, those are always prepared. <laughs> I also have fireball, but there's too much collateral. Oh my gosh! Yeah, <laughs> fireball yeah. the ship in the yeah, that'd be amazing. Please oh, do that. Okay. <laughs> no, uh, just kidding. Sorry, it's just funny to think about. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I had a legitimate question. So, yeah, sure. um, would there be? Was there any like lanterns on the? 
on the deck? I cast daylight, so it's daylight. Yeah, there's a, a strong daylight glow, pretty far actually. Well, emanating from the water. Oh no, you put it on something, didn't you? I, I think I put it on the. I don't think I ever specified what it was, mm -hmm. but can I say I put it on like the main sail? Sure. <laughs> mm -hmm. So that's got a but good distance there. Sixty-foot radius sphere of light and is bright light and sheds dim light for an additional sixty feet. Okay, and so in the center of the ship, there you've got pretty good um, vision. Popcorn. So I have popcorn for snack, guys. Yes. Yay. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna uh, buy. I'll be back real soon. I'll keep the videos up so we can chat and all that other stuff this week. And um, be back my five to eight. <laughs> Because I have everything that I need, so I don't normally leave. So. Oh, my legs. My legs. Yes. When I get some more coffee. Mm. <sighs> I had had coffee this morning. I've had coffee like all day. Because this chick forgot to drink water last night. He catch my drift. You forgot to drink water last night? <laughs> Oh. Remember our conversation, my conversation where I was felt bloated? Hmm. Oh, yeah. The pizza and the beer. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. How, how did that work out for you? <laughs> uh, let's just say I had four and a half. So. You know, oh, you had four and a half beers on top of the almost. Four and a half pizzas. Pizza? Oh, four and a half pizza. Well. No, I don't really do it. It was square. Okay. It was a square pizza. <laughs> okay. So pizza buy a pizza. Do that. And then I had more pizza on top of that today for lunch. Wow. Man, you were just Whew. Yeah. I don't know what to say. I yeah, I'm speechless. I don't uh um... Well, I was babysitting and they wanted pizza for lunch. Was it one of those really good, like, not Papa really John's? pizzas? Pizza. Oh, it was Papa John's. Okay. Yeah. And if it was the kind of like the the fake, like the square pepperoni pieces on it, you know, that you put in the oven, and it's not really a name brand. It's good like Christian Randy. Kids cuisine. Oh, kids um, cuisine. Oh. With the penguin I mean, and the polar bear. Yes. Yes. I oh remember. Oh my that. gosh! I completely about that until this very moment <laughs> Kim, i need to find i need to find the strawberry rice crispy treat commercial that talison's in <laughs> oh my goodness and i need to find the scene from mr mom where we have oh yeah give myself free. and i actually found a copy of a vhs copy of mr mom oh yeah do you have anything to play it on I have a VHS player. I still have a VHS player. Good question, Randy. Where is Frank? This is weird. Oh yeah, Frank. Uh, he's not on the board, so uh, he's not signed in. So he's probably either busy or asleep. <laughs> <laughs> He's either busy or he just couldn't make it to Grog didn't film me. Ten o'clock mm -hmm. tonight. That's true. If I rolled a natural twenty, oh, that would be good. But it was a minus one, so. Um, let's see here. What was I doing? Oh yeah. So my new character for my Tuesday game, guys, is a Tiefling Genslinger. I've oh, that's so cool. I'm excited to play her because we have combat next week. And basically, oh I didn't want to copyright any of the guns that tell us the name. So, um, yeah, I I named Bad, bad News um, Sniper Rifle. So. So, uh, Steph. Yes. I was looking at your art. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. And I 
I was looking at it and I wanted to see yeah. all the stuff that uh -huh. you had available. And yeah. I'm going to order um a Doctor Who shirt. So from the red so I'm gonna I hope I get it. Which which design did you get? Um I haven't gotten it yet. Um I'm okay. going to but uh I think oh I like all your Doctor Who ones. Especially all the nice. reference the reference ones. Um, oh yeah, yeah. And I really like your uh, Pandora's box with Rory and then oh. the sticky note that says come along pond. That one's my favorite. Oh, I, was, I was able to access your red bubble. Why can't I find your red bubble? It's still there. <laughs> I well, found I, it today. <laughs> I know. I, well, I was. you're very hard to find on it. Like me, I'm old fashioned and I don't. Oh, red bubble. It's right on your website. I'm a dumb dumb. <laughs> it's okay. I was like, I, wait, what do I have in the cart? Sorry. Right. Like, oh, I'm talking to myself. Your cart is loading. Oh, yeah. And I'm getting me a new phone case, and I have your the Anastasia. I was like, I know I added something. Oh no, I I don't have a phone at iPhone X, so I need to change that. So that's bad. I'm sorry, I'm talking to myself. No, I want to go. You're fine. Red bubble. Uh, what color? It's like I know so I, had I couldn't go just partially Scottish with the iron brew. I had to break out the, the tartan scarf as well. Oh no. boy. Your, your video can't even handle it. It's just turning, circling. <laughs> oh gosh, this is this might have been a mistake. <laughs> Please stand by while I try to fix this. <laughs> oh. oh my gosh, I love. Oh, oh I love the one with Clara. Claire was my favorite companion. Yeah, that's Claire. She was good. My 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 ultimate favorites. Um, well, as far as like the new ones, it's for Amy, but um, Claire was wow. second. I really liked Claire. I never liked Rose. Bro, yeah, yeah. I I wouldn't say that I didn't like her, but I just I I never like I never <laughs> fell in love with her like everyone else did. Yeah, that's probably a fair way to put it. I didn't, she wasn't like this big emotional deal that yeah. she's yeah. going to become. Yeah, yeah, no, for sure. Oh, I just might have to get. Kevin's and Rose got annoying. I did like Nine, though. I like Nine a lot. Yes, yeah. Mm. Uh, oh, I have it. Uh... Mm. Catching up on chat. Oh wait, earbuds, oh. right? That's helpful. Yeah, like I said at the beginning, if you guys remember Hunchback of Notre Dame, mm -hmm. I've been, oh. I have had God help it. I've been singing God help the outcast all <laughs> day. Nice. <laughs> Cause that's my favorite song to sing at the moment. Uh, kid cuisine, nice. I mean, if you guys haven't figured out what my Twitch name, Impossible Girl 11, Clara Osmond Oswald, <laughs> number 11, the doctor's mom. Nice. <laughs> yes, Nev, I have to agree. Donna was the most funnest companion. But I'm I hate it that I hate the way that they got rid they ended her with no memories of the tenth doctor. That was the downside of it. That right. made me sad. Very sad. <laughs> yeah. 
I am so excited for his 13th. Ah! Mm. I'm so excited for Jody to come. Definitely. But Warren, you got to think. There was some, if you did not notice, there was a little bit of love connection with Rose and the doctor. Not just Martha. <clears throat> I just did, I just felt like Martha was kind of strong and independent, didn't really need to have that whole romance where she's falling over the doctor. And I was mm. really refreshing to see Donna come in and say, look, we're not a couple. We're not doing that. I will travel with you, but we're not in love. Nice. Oh, yeah. Well, that's a good point. Yeah, Rose and the Doctor were definitely like that whole last scene where they've got their. <laughs> I don't, don't want to spoil in case anyone. My if you haven't seen it yet, I know. <laughs> my well, by the time people should see watch, I still haven't watched season ten yet. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm like a season behind because I was very lost with the Christmas episode because I watched the before the Christmas episode. This past Christmas, I watched because I wanted to see Jodie Whittaker regenerate into the from Peter Capaldi to Jodie Whittaker. Mm. I was like fangirling. I'm I'm excited for what Jodie's going to bring. In. I can't believe we've gotten this far into the companion talk and nobody's mentioned Jack. <laughs> oh right, yeah. Did you all watch Torchwood, which I loved? It's just uh, a jumble of, of Doctor Who. <laughs> well, it, like, it intertwined with, like, one episode of Doctor Who, mm. like, where he leaves Torchwood because at the end of the, one, the episode where Jack leaves, he hears the TARDIS mm -hmm. that connects him to Wells. So... Yeah, I love what they did with Jack, too, like, in the yes, timeline of things. I totally like, agree with that. Oh, so my awesome. gosh. I was so upset that... But then again, I, don't, I can see why they didn't add him, because if you guys remember, in that very same episode, he became the face of Bo. Mm. That was so... what they hinted at, yeah. <laughs> so awesome. I liked Torchwood as uh, um, the original, the British one, and then they had like one, I think it was one season that they did on like uh, Showtime or HBO or something. Um, that was a bit wild. Different, but still pretty good. <clears throat> so for my strength saving throw, I rolled Grog and I'm so happy. Nice. Because I got a national 19 on Grog. <laughs> I use, okay, so Grog is for strength. Mm -hmm. And Constitution Seven throws when dealing with drinking. Nice. Mm. Oh, excuse me. Oh, did I tell you that Chris Perkins followed me on Twitter? Yeah, it was amazing. Yes. <laughs> I don't think I told anybody. Told anybody else. I don't oh. think. Are you kidding me? Discord again? No! Grog! No! This is what I get. This is what I get. Okay. I need to find a computer desk to play. Because this is ridiculous. Mm. <laughs> if you have not noticed, Chester has been chilling behind me tonight. Yeah. And then I also... You know, I'm I'm gonna lose con concentration. Probably con concentration check. Check with Allison, Bumina, Bonnie. Is that the same Bonnie? No. <clears throat> All right, we're just uh, Steph. Okay. Give another minute here. Actually, where is stuff in the uh, turn order? I might be able to squeak. I might be able to work this. And she's a few down. She's at the bottom. <clears throat> All right. Well, let's um. We'll pick it up because she's you know, pretty good about um coming back and stuff. So, uh, we'll jump back in, Emil. Um, yeah, you are currently uh, essentially 
washed upside down 20 feet beneath the surface of the raging ocean. There are um, some small life rafts that are partially, uh, not lowered, but um, the water brings you up to that level every so often. Some water is washing over onto the deck, and there are a number of different rope ladders fastened to the side of the boat in case just such a thing happens. But currently you're about 20 feet under, and you have, uh, if you have 30 feet normally, 15, 7, you'd have, uh, we'll say, 8. Um, yeah, two so squares. two squares. Yeah. Would you be about halfway up to the surface unless you wanted to dash? I don't dash. know if you can see me, but under the water, I'm just kind of like waving people to come closer to me. Yeah, I doubt we'd be able to like 10, see 15, 20, 20. Uh, We're over the edge as well. It's about 30 feet away. Anyways. Mm, maybe. Mm. <laughs> So, um, we just had this, this message in our heads to, um, that we were going to pay for intruding. Mm -hmm. I think I'm going to, um, take a chance to try and use my, uh, so my new, uh, the powers that I'm trying to develop anyways, mm -hmm. I'm going to try and send back a mental message saying, um, You will not attack us. Stand down and let us pass. And I'm going to send that really as strongly as I can, but obviously I'm not. Like, oh. I've been still struggling to kind of. Oh, I love this. Just communicate with Seb. So I'll give it a try. And then okay. for the rest of it, I'm just going to try and move in the general towards the light direction. Um. Uh, yeah, I guess do a. Um... A wisdom check. Just I won't make you do a disadvantage because I figure adrenaline's pumping and you're just you know you've you've got the extra mojo. <laughs> uh, Dan, your camera's still off. Um, oh, six. Did on purpose. Six. Oh, bummer. Um, thank you, Sam. No, I, that wasn't intentional. <laughs> Oops. Um. Okay, yeah, uh, you can do that as, we'll say, that's um, a bonus action. Um, or I guess, uh, whatever, we'll just say bonus action for now. And um, I guess it'd be an action. So you have an action to do that, and then you have bonus movement. You, don't, you haven't received any message back or anything at this point. Yep, fair enough. Mm -hmm. um, do you want to start swimming toward the surface with your... Uh, and do you yeah. want to use your bonus? Can you use your bonus as like a dash or something like that? Mm. No, I'm not going to. I'm, I'm focused pretty heavily on... Okay. Trying. Neat. Um, all right, then. The shocks. <laughs> uh, okay, oh, Emersina. Well, she is probably... Let's see what she's got in her repertoire. Oh. <laughs> mm. Oh, look at that. She's got a water block prepared, too. It's, <laughs> I guess she <laughs> planned uh, well. Um, but she can't use that yet because that is an action. Um, I think that she's going to use her dash action, which gets her just to the surface. As she uh, writes herself. If That's half of that. The liquid, the spell carries the target to the surface of the liquid at a rate of 60 feet, feet per round. Oh, does it? Okay. Well, that's she would know that, so she's going to cast that on herself. It lasts an hour. Um, she just yeah. puts her arms around herself and, and up and, to ten willing creatures you can see within range gain this ability for the duration, and it's not concentration. So range is 30 feet, so she can hit a meal. Okay. So she wraps her arms around her shoulder and begins casting the spell. Uh, she feels, uh, she exhales as much air as she can, um, knowing that uh, she doesn't want to get any, um, uh, what's it called when you have too much air in your lungs when you're rapidly rising. Anyway, she doesn't want to get that. So she, she starts rocketing up. Emil, you feel yourself pushing upward as well, um, being within range. Um, so that'll actually happen automatically for you at the top. Thank you, the Benz. Yes, thank you, Randy. <laughs> That's driving me nuts. Um, 
that'll automatically at the top of or at the beginning of your next turn, Emil, without having to do anything, you'll be as long as she's still in range, you'll be pushed up. Um, she breaks the surface, <sighs> gasps for air, and actually, uh, well, not that anyone can see, but she puts her hands on the water and pushes her, pulls herself up out of the water, places her feet down on it, and stands up, rocking up and down on top of the waves uh, beside the boat. Um, she doesn't have any movement or anything left, so that's the end of her turn. That brings us to Mina. Any liquid surface as if it were harmless solid ground. <laughs> Well, seeing them do that, I'm going to be like, well, okay. Um, and then I'll cast it on myself. Mm -hmm. Nice. <laughs> Not worrying about having to <laughs> get within range of anybody. Um, so I'll jump up to the to the top of the surface there. Um, and, I, and then as a bonus action, I will cast Healing Word on a meal as I shoot past him. Oh. I'm just going to do a first level. Healing word on you there. You get. Well, Emil's um, still. Um, I guess you could reach him, right? 5, 10, 50. Well, you 60. wouldn't know where he was, though. He, it's within 60 feet. Is there any sort of a roll to do it, or is it uh, no, a just. That um, you can see within range regains hit points equal to 1d. Ah, yeah, you can't see him. He's still under, under the water. Oh. And he's 30 okay. feet in the stormy. Zombies. But at the top of the next turn, he will be. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, then I won't do that. And I will just... Um, I'm just going to cast Shield of Faith on myself again. Then. Oh, okay. Not again, but just cast Shield of Faith on myself. So now I have a 16 AC. Nice. <clears throat> um... And that is concentration. Okay. All right, so you um, rise automatically after... Oh, is that also an act? That must be a bonus, right? Uh, what, yeah, Shield of Faith is a bonus. Water Walk is an action. Okay. So you automatically rise to the surface from Water Walk. So you have a little bit of movement if you want to get yourself up onto the boat as you're casting. Um, stamp sure. your hands on some of the armor. And this shing, shing, glowing armor covers your existing armor. Yeah, um, so I'll just start climbing up the... Okay, you can make it right up onto the side there. It's a little bit rough, but you have all your movement, so... Okay. All right, which actually I guess would mean M could do, probably do the same. <coughs> put her right there. Um, okay, Kaylin. <laughs> you up. <clears throat> All right, so Mina's out of the water, Emil's on his way being down, being out of the water, and then Marcina's out of the water, correct? Um, well, you don't know what's going on with Emil. You saw uh, Emersina and and possibly Mina climb up, but Emil, okay. you're just not sure. No signs of him. Well, okay. I'm not going to do anything. I wasn't going to do anything. Um, so I'm going to attack the, uh, the sea creature. Um nice. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah, that'll be fine. Okay. So, I'm going to um let's see. I do need to take a step um to get at least diagonal to him. Um. And I'm going to use my short sword. Okay. The attack. Mm -hmm. Now I did have to move one block. Does that take up one of my actions again? Um, to do what? I did have to move one block. No, that's just your movement. Mm -hmm. okay. In fact, you right. still have the other five blocks to move if you wanted to. Okay, well, I'm just, I'll, I'll just get. Uh, um, mm. <clears throat> Creature leans back one, down, one, two, face three, level. Four, five. Yeah, I think actually I'm going to run to the other side of him. So Ooh, we're not like all okay. just right there. Mm -hmm. um, and I will attack with my short sword. So mm -hmm. With advantage because you're, you're um, yes. okay. flanking. All right. Yes, absolutely. And blah, 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 blah. Ooh, roll that, that guy. Is <laughs> 21 for. 
uh, hit. Yeah, that hits. <laughs> and um, just, just oh, maybe we don't need to use a modification. Let's see. Hey, Dan. Yeah. Would the evil drop by now because there's a concentration spell up to an hour? No, you've only been in the battle for a little bit. Really? Mm -hmm. Well, each round is six seconds, so it's been like eight it's seconds. Like Twelve <laughs> seconds. And that's um, nine <laughs> for my first short sword. Nine hit. Nice, and okay. Nine damage. Um, and then for the second um. one... Doing it with advantage. What I do is that mm -hmm. it's not, is that doing, that's doing the two die, right? Yeah, and then is pick that? the higher. Mm -hmm. Okay. Great. Um, that's 17. Oh, that just hits. Oh, good. Oof. Nice. And <laughs> eight. Ooh, Brilliant. okay, beautiful. <clears throat> you go, we just run your short sword along. You, run it up underneath one of the scales and just run along as you're running around it and then come back just with a stab in the front mm -hmm. um, at its side, dealing another eight points of damage. Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's looking like it's hurting now. Not like it's going to fall over or anything, but it's hurting. Okay, great. I will pass my turn. There okay. you go. Brixie, you're up. Okay. Oh. Pixie. <laughs> oh, I'm still here. Okay, yeah, you're you're up. It's your turn. Okay. Um, I'm gonna cast mm -hmm. Thunder Wave. Ooh, okay. Are you uh, using any movement first, or are you going right? Uh... Okay, I'm trying not to hit K1. If you move directly, uh, oh yeah, you can't really. Um... Yeah. Five. If you move right above her, it would it wouldn't hit either any anyone except the creature. Thirty. That's what I'm doing because I noticed that you're right there. Okay. Oh come on, I'm moving. Hey, Dan, is there any way you can delete the cube? I have no earthly idea how to do it. It's uh, a forever cube. <laughs> I, I... Oh, it's a companion cube. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, there we go. Okay. I have to just... So ignore the first cube. So, no. There we go. Almost the lead of my toe. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um. So go ahead and uh, is it a Constitution saving throw or is it a Dexterity saving throw? Um. Yeah. Thunder wave. A Constitution saving throw. All right. Uh, Ooh, oh, well, it does have some pretty, maybe it has good con. I think it does. Let's see. Um, ooh, no, 13. Yeah! Which is not a success. <laughs> Come on, you my little D8s. Roll two eights. Make you wish really hard. <laughs> 11. Points of thunder damage. Nice. Okay. Hey, okay. right. Moved over red. 
Um, and it gets knocked back ten feet. Yes! Would um, that give Kaylin and... Uh, uh, no, they're still within range. They're still in that five-foot bin around it. Oh, all right. <clears throat> but you, you walk up and you <clears throat> clap your hands, and this huge thunderous um, energy comes out and sound that just echoes across the... Um, boards of the deck here like another roll of thunder and blast this thing out dealing all that thunder damage um, 10 feet out as it slips around on the edge of the boat and spins around and kind of latches its tail on around the edge of, of the boat to hold on okay um, any oh good <clears throat> and that will be my turn okay Felix, you're up. Um, Cue the Imagine Dragon song, Thunder. <laughs> <Thunder. laughs> <Thunder. laughs> okay. Felix is going to run up to Kaylin and say, you trust me, right? Grab Kaylin, run up to the rigging, cut the rigging, and hopefully go up. Oh, nice. Okay. Oh. Peter Pan. Um, so, Caitlin, do you do you let do you resist anything, or do you, or you no. just let it go? Okay, nice. So you yeah, you automatically get your arm under, cut. Yeah. Um, I guess with the rain and stuff, just make a strength check, Felix, to see how well you've grasped this rope. <laughs> It'd be funny if you cut the rope and nothing like it wasn't tight. <laughs> no. no! <laughs> oh, Felix. Oh, it is so epic until you cut the rope. And that's exactly what happened. You get her. Let's go. And you slash the rope and grab it. And it just it's just hangs there, kind of loose in your hand. Like it wasn't on a on a pulley or a counterbalance to anything. Um you hear a little creak from the main mast as as uh, <laughs> one of the support ropes has been cut. No. <laughs> Caleb's um, can I say I meant to do that? Grab the net and just throw it at the Abolith? As a yes! Okay. <laughs> Go for it. <laughs> okay, that's better. That's, um... Uh, what would the bonus be to hit? Oh, um, okay? I think improvised weapons don't get your, any of the bonus that you don't, you can't apply. Oh, you can't apply your proficiency bonus. I guess a net throw would be a dex. There Since is it's a an sort of range. net as a weapon. Mm -hmm. um, let's see if it's a. Sorry. Oh, I spelled equipment wrong. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Um, it doesn't do any damage. It has a oh. range of 515. Um, a large or smaller creature hit by a net is restrained until it is freed. A uh, creature can use this action to make a DC 10 strength check, freeing itself, dealing five slashing damage to the net, also frees the creature. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, so it doesn't do damage, but it restrains okay. them. Sure. Which um, restraining, res restraining is a good thing. Okay, it's the throne property. Um, oh, I don't add any bonuses if I'm not proficient in it, right? Oh. Correct. Well, I okay. think you don't get your proficiency bonus, but I'll, I'll, for now I'll let you add your dex. Cause dex. That would be a, mm -hmm. uh, so that'd be 16 to hit, which I don't think. Oh, but... just this is, you, you say that, and there's just a little embarrassment still. You're trying to, to recover, and you throw the net. Ooh, it opens up as though it's going to perfectly... I'm sorry. Discord crapped again. Um... Oh, <laughs> uh, you throw the the <laughs> the um, net and it opens up like it's gonna perfectly go over the creature, but then some wind <laughs> gets it and it just goes oh. sideways and lands next to it on the ground. It kind of looks down and back. You tried. I'm sorry. <laughs> Put that back on. <laughs> it was really cool in my head. <laughs> it was Aww. all pretty cool. Um, <clears throat> all right. Uh, so this marrow is going to do what? I guess it's tangling with this um, giant eagle for now. So I think it would probably... Uh, Are the giant eagles like hovering above the ground like a humanoid but underneath them? 
in the same Probably, space. I think. I guess that'd be up to Brixie. Huh? Are the giant eagles, <laughs> how far above the gra or above the deck are the giant eagles? Could a humanoid fit underneath? Are um, they flying out of pod or out of reach? Um, they can't, they fly, hang on, let me look if they have a... I they have like 80 flying first. speed. I guess to just... Could, uh, I, could I could I stand in the same space as the eagle and get within touch range of this mirror? <laughs> is the question. Is it 10 feet up or whatever? <laughs> yeah, I don't, you probably wouldn't have to look anything up. It's, it's 10 feet. <laughs> well, I have it up. Speed is 10 feet and the fly speed is... Well, yeah, you can fly 80 feet. Um, we're just asking. No, I'm asking, I'm asking oh, oh. Are you flying like out of reach or like down near the yeah, deck? Like, what's what's its height? <laughs> They're giant eagles, so. I mean, like, how high do you want it to fly? Like, 20 feet in the air. The deck, okay, so this is my hand. I would say about 15 feet in the air. Okay, okay that'd be enough room. Sorry. No problem. Um, in that case, uh, the mayor will probably, you know, looks, sees, you know, the eagle is is out of reach and marches toward the next um, available person, which I guess would be, oh, that that's Mina. That's probably why you were asking. <laughs> um, all right, one of its. Uh, and then, Am I like uh, actually on the deck, like over wait, the Wait, hang on. Am I still holding hang on. onto the edge? Uh, you're up on it. Dan, yeah. I just realized that I had them swoop down to attack him, so they'd be like close, um, 10 feet in the air, like close to the deck, probably. Okay. I mean, they have movement speed after, too. So uh, they have 80 feet of flying, so they could swoop down, attack, and, and fly up. I'm going to say. They yet. They're hmm. getting ready to attack. Okay. I'll so say the 15 like... feet since we, we've done okay, it and cool. we've I've done some stuff since. Cool. Um, okay. Uh, let's see. So it's going to, ooh, it's kind of nasty. All right, so these marrows sort of look like the, like a naga, I guess, from World of Warcraft. Snake-like a bit in appearance. They've got the fish tails that they slither around on. And, um, it has a big harpoon on its back. And it slithers up to you quickly, um, Mina, grabs its harpoon, but goes in for a bite. Uh... Taking you just a little bit off guard, but we'll see. Maybe not. <laughs> oh. Let's try that. <sighs> I can't even. Oh, no. That one rolled an attack at you, right? Yeah, it did. All right, good. Jeez, roll thank goodness. A seven. That's it. <laughs> so it goes into bite, and you're just like, mm -mm, you, you, <laughs> you dodge out of the way. Then it... <laughs> it's just, it's just my shoulders like... Mm -hmm. Not today. Then it swings around with its second attack uh, with its harpoon. Does an 18 hit? Uh, even with the shield of faith. It dies. <sighs> okay. <clears throat> All right. I need to make it a concentration check. Okay. Um, oh, okay, right. For the, the water walking's concentration? Water walking is not concentration, oh. but shield of faith is. Shield of faith. Okay. Water so, walk just lasts for an hour. Ah, so seven or higher. That's it. It's a 14 damage that you took. Ooh, okay, that's a nine. No, no, wait. Let's we'll see. Because it's, it's, either, it's either half the damage or mm -hmm. 10, whichever is higher. And so I got plus 10. I rolled a 10. <laughs> nice. Nice. <laughs> Whew! Uh, you take the attack, but hold true with faith in your <laughs> in your deity. Um, you're, you're, I you're just kind of grew back so I know what I'm casting next day. <laughs> <laughs> sort of slithers around in place. Um, the other one uh, is going to do the same thing. 10. 15, going to go up next to um, this creature. And who's this? Felix, I think. All right, Felix. So this one's going to attack you, Felix. It also goes in for a bite attack on Felix. Uh, 21. I think hits. I think it says... Uh... I'm sorry. I was I was watching the clip. No, yeah, nice. <laughs> the, uh, yeah, and it did is. one damage. Well, it has a plus four. So this one uh, slithers up behind you, and you you hear at the last minute like a hiss in your ear as its mouth rears around. 
and bites down. It's got these sharp, jagged teeth in the front that bite down. Um, once it's got you, it uses its claws to try and dig into either side of your torso with its second attack. With its second attack. Second attack. Real dice, Dan. Just use a real dice. Yeah, I should. Oh, well, 24. Yeah, all right. Um, dealing. Uh, you guys already know what I want on my gravestone. We've done this before. <laughs> nice. Uh, 11 points of damage. It runs its claws up in between the... the um, well, the armor mitigates a fair bit of it, but you do feel it pierce through a little bit. Um, and that ends its turn and brings us back to our friend. Oh, my Not gosh. <laughs> Oh, man. Now I'm not going to do that. That's just not cool. <clears throat> uh, <laughs> this is why I didn't want to be on the deck anymore. Felix, where are you at? Oh, snap. Oh, man. Shame on me for not doing... Okay. Um, who are we looking at here? Who are we looking at? <laughs> All right. Creature once again turns to Kaylin. Yikes. Kaylin, please roll a wisdom saving throw. <laughs> 16 you feel this creature's mind just just permeate your own and it's almost like these little tendrils are reaching into the back of your mind and you're just like, not today. And you mentally fight against it and push it back out of your mind. Oh, man, I just narrow my eyes at it. Yes! <laughs> oh, that's great. Um, all right. And that's that's its turn, it didn't, because it decided to do that. <clears throat> um, at the end of the round, however, I right, can't do that. Uh, 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 oh, that would just be poor. I can't do that one. So Emil's off the hook. Whew! Because I can't see Emil. All right. Um, oh, no. <clears throat> oh, I see. All right. <laughs> Yeah, but I don't have that up. All right, well, I've got it over here, I think. Sorry, I just need to pull up. Um, spell. Actually, no, I don't, because I've got my player's handbook open. <clears throat> All right, should be getting close. There it is. All right. <clears throat> okay, cool. Um, I need everyone except a meal. Right when you're in case of the water. Um, every five, ten, fifteen. Okay, everybody except a meal. Please roll an intelligence saving throw. Uh, let me bring my notepad up so I can write it. Um, I'm going to go just around and ask everybody. Um, Mina, what'd you, what'd you get? 11. Okay. Uh, Kaylin? And what does the inspiration give me for getting the highest roll tonight? Um, D8. D8. Oh, do we still have our inspiration from last week for terrible weeks? Um, Please say yes. Sure. I think that's fair. And mine is a... 14. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, mine is 14. I'm adding my inspiration back this week. Oh, uh, sorry, Brixie. I'll, I'll get to you in just a uh, second. what was your, I'm just writing it down on a list. Uh, 11, and that was after using my inspiration. Okay. Uh, Emil didn't have to do one. Um, okay. Uh, Felix? Nine. 
And uh, now, Brixie, sorry, it was. Uh, a total of 19 after adding my inspiration oh, die. Nice. All right. And, um, I'm sorry, Em. When you're watching this, I'm really sorry. Uh, <laughs> What is her save for that? Uh, is plus one. Yeah. Okay. Ten for her. <sighs> okay. So who's safe and who isn't? Let's see. Mina um, <clears throat> and Brixie. The two of you feel. Um, it's almost like uh, the heat distortion when something's really hot and the air gets a little bit wavy in front of you. But but you quickly push through it. You're like, well, this doesn't make sense. And as you sort of push through that thought, um, it dissipates. And it's just back to this heavy pouring rain, booming thunder. Uh, however, uh, and, and Emil, you're still just underwater chilling. <laughs> or slowly floating up now. Um, Kalen, Felix, and M, however... Hmm, let's see. What's going to happen? Uh, so, Em, you're not here, so um, I'll get to you in a bit. So, uh, let's say, who's next? Uh, so, Kaylin. Kaylin, you see... Oh, my gosh. Okay. <clears throat> Grow. Growing out of the head. As this thing is down in your face, you know, writhing back and forth. Out of the top of its head sprouts arms and a head, sort of like in the ring, and the head's all cocked to the side, and it reaches out, and it's Ormia's face, warped and dark and, and, and bloody, sunken in eyes, and you see all the wounds that Malos had inflicted with this black blood oozing out. Um, let me just check the description of this again here, because I think that... Uh, that's literally what it says in the book. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty, uh, it's pretty yeah. descriptive there. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh-huh. 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 Uh-hu
I mean, if you have a thing that, that makes you recognize it, yeah. Otherwise, you can you can take like a bonus action or something to investigate and see like is that because um, it's not happening. You don't see any of this. To Mina, we everything. Like a, we said we saw like a heat wave sort of thing. Y yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. Oh. Those three are freaking out. Yeah, on their turn, they'll probably be like, what? <laughs> or whatever they're going to do. <laughs> um, all right, Giant Eagle 1. Um, what you want to do, Bricks? Okay. Ugh. Oh, gosh, I'm so tired. Uh -huh. <laughs> do you want it to attack that um, marrow that's right below it, I think? Would Bricks know what? creature is making the uh, is casting the spell or would Brixie know well two questions one mm -hmm. would she know what where what kind of, if it's a spell and two do you know does she know what kind of creature if it <clears throat> would cast it she probably wouldn't have any idea there's so many creatures around and boarding the ship outside of what's in the battle here. I don't think she'd know um, that. But you could do, like, as a bonus action, you could do, um, like, a quick intelligence <laughs> check to see if you recognize this as a spell versus a natural phenomenon versus... Come on, Percival. Uh, it, Patrick's on. Ah, come on, Percy. Cannot pronounce his name. Um, no. Nope. The third. <laughs> no. Um, hang on. Um, eight. Yeah, you're not sure. You, you oh, get the wait, feeling wait, it might wait, be a spell. Wait. Yeah, eight. Okay. You, you feel like it's probably a spell, but you're not positive. It, it could be some, you know, there's other forces that do that, psychic things and stuff like that outside. All of... right, I know what spell I'm doing. Let's turn when this book sees. Uh, oh, come on. Well, actually, you won't be able to do that. It'll technically be on your turn. Right now, it's a giant eagle, anyway. Yeah, that's what I said. I know what I'm doing on my next turn. Ah, okay. But giant eagle number one, mm -hmm. that, that's a miss. Six plus five. Mm. Giant eagle number two, that's better. Some 22. Well, 22. 22. Oh, that hits. Yep. <laughs> and then, uh, is it plus three? One D6 yes. plus three? Mm -hmm. So that the six. Piercing damage. Nice. For claw attack, and then <clears throat> oh no, that's a natural one for Eagle One. Uh, Eagle One's just getting blown around by the storm. <laughs> and then twenty for Eagle Number Two. Whew, nice, that hits for sure. Excuse me. Uh, and that's a 2d6 plus 3 for the town one. And that is 10 piercing damage. Nice. All right. <clears throat> Oops. Um, wasn't Thanks, Kilos, for that natural one. <laughs> All right. This is Meryl one, right? Yep. Uh, okay. That one's looking uh, fairly wounded, actually, this Meryl. It's yeah, looking a little good. sluggish, yeah. <laughs> and then it's going to swoop down 10 feet closer to the mirror. Okay, you, you, you want to be like 10 feet above it? Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah. And then that will end the eagle's turn. Okay, nice. Um, that brings us around to Emil. Emil, at this point, by now you've found yourself floating up to the surface. And, and as you go to splash and, like, catch your, uh, you know, stay afloat, you feel that you can actually pull yourself up on the water, so it's solid. Okay. And then how high above the, uh, the water is the deck normally? Uh, let's see. Currently, okay. Currently, the water is bringing you almost right up to the side of the deck, probably five feet. <clears throat> as a wave's going to splash across it. Okay, so I have a moment. I have a pretty good actually view of what's going on yes. as I'm going to get on the boat. Okay. Let's see, where do I want to go here? I actually don't want to be anywhere near anybody, really. So, 
I'm going to head towards the front of the boat. Okay. Water walk lasts for an hour, and oh. you can cross any liquid surface as if it were harmless solid ground. So. Okay, so I'm going to head over here, and I'm going to take an arrow shot at the Avalon. Nice. And that's a nine. Uh, <clears throat> um, you're just, you're waterlogged, you know, from getting out of the water and the weight's just, you're not accustomed to it. You fire, it fires just past and into some of the rigging behind uh, Felix there. <laughs> um, and I'll use my, uh, if there's anything like that I can duck behind the rigging or anything, I'd like to use bonus of stealth, but I'm not really sure what's there. Yeah, there's plenty to, to um, manage around in that particular area, so go ahead uh, and roll that if you want. Okay, that's 29 stealth. <laughs> <laughs> so Where did Neil go? Stealth, 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 stealth. Oh, how nice. oh, on, that's my rogue. How oh, on, that's quite uh, a rogue. Uh, she used her other one. Bummer. The water walk. Okay. Um. Mm, what's she gonna do? What you gonna do? Seeing a meal in the shape. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh, nice. Okay. So seeing a meal in the shape that he's in. <clears throat> Would she do anything? Seeing her brother's body up hanging from the rafters. Mm, yeah, that's true. Let me do a check and see what she's how she's gonna react to that. Oh snap! Um okay. She looks at it and, and, and she tries to sort it out in her head. Um like that's gonna mean she can't take an action now. Well whatever. Um and uh takes a minute to assess, does an intelligence check basically. Like this this can't be and as she looks and focuses, she sees that uh, it, it dissipates. It isn't real. It's an illusion of some sort, mm -hmm. and it fades. <sighs> Wait, or is this a bonus? Yes. Okay. Okay, Em, I've got your back. Uh, not on purpose. <laughs> it just it ended up being a bonus spell. <laughs> um, then, you know, gathering yourself, uh, and you rolled a 20, M, by the way. Uh, <laughs> um Gathering your focus after that, you look over and see Emil pretty wounded. You reach into a pouch and pull out a bunch of these uh, black and pink uh, flower petals and throw them into the air. And as they, uh, the wind catches them and blows them back, and it's almost like they're getting stuck against something. Um, and it takes uh, the shape of all these petals landing on some invisible thing, take the shape of, of a horse um, that then flips its head up. You can see it's a unicorn, this like spiritual looking unicorn that steps forward, puts it, leans down. Uh, I mean, it knows where Emil is. No one else does. <laughs> and you saw Emil go by. Now you're not sure, but I, I'm, that creature can, you know, find uh, him and leans over and just sort of goes to lean its head in if you're uh, amenable to that, Emil. Okay. It basically wants to touch. And as it does, um, you're healed for... Um... <gasps> it's healing spirit! Mm -hmm. uh, I know that's about... 1d6, empire. Okay, all right, it's just straight up. Oh, six hit points! Max roll! <laughs> um, nice, nice. Okay, and it stays there. It's sort of balancing itself pretty well. It's pretty graceful. Uh, that's the end of Mina's. I mean, uh, sorry, M's turn, and Mina is up next. Dan, so you, uh, I don't know if you. Oh, never mind. You you can read. Okay, so I got this thing up all into my face, and I yes. don't like that. Nice. So I'm gonna reach out and touch it and mm -hmm. cast a second level inflict. Oh, oh, nice. Is that a save or is that an attack? I have to make a melee spell attack. Nice. You can do it! I believe in you, you can do the thing! Spell cards, come back. <laughs> I love this spell, it's one of my favorite cleric spells. It's just so <laughs> it's nasty, it's great. Okay, 
Um, <laughs> is the giant eagle considered flanking it? No, it's up um, I said 10 it feet above closer. it. Okay. I need to be specifying it moves closer. Mm -hmm. 19. Oh, that hits. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is second level is 4d10. Oh. 4d10? <laughs> I yeah, love this spell so much. This is what Liam's character did to Ashley Birch. I remember that spell. Mm -hmm. Oh, and it was exactly level 2, too. Wait, nice. hang on. I'm trying to count. 9, 15. 20, 23 points of necrotic damage. <clears throat> this thing is hissing in your face, and you sort of like Kali Ma and reach into its chest. Uh, <laughs> and as you place your. Symbol, just... Yeah, and uh, it kind of cringes for a minute, but looks surprised as all these dark tendrils of, of uh, necrotic energy creep through its chest and up the side of his face and just its face gets sunken in and it's writhing in pain and it makes a terrible screech as it collapses dead um, on the side of the boat. And I suck in the energy now. No! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna turn around and I'm gonna cast it. Let's see, wait, hang on. That was the second look. Mark that off. I'm just gonna I'm gonna do a healing word on Felix. Ah, okay. Uh, it is. You get seven hit points. Nice. Go Felix. Uh -huh. And that was okay. Running out of spell, guys. Nobody die. <laughs> uh, that brings you back to and only a wound of nine. Is nice. my turn. Oh, wait, no, I lied. I'm mm. going to start one, two, three, four. Um, let's go five and six right there. Is that thing okay. in bed? Yeah, yeah. Or you start walking back over as Kaylin, it becomes, you know, it's your turn. And I, um, I'm pulling out my uh, crossbow, which is still not loaded. Okay. My You're up, King. Bum, bum, oh, bum, okay. Bum. <laughs> um, well, I'm going to. I mean, am I not? Is there an, anything like hanging on from the vision or from the. Oh, right. You've got that. Um, yeah, if, if you want to assess it to see, I mean, like, it clearly doesn't compute, right? It doesn't make sense. So go ahead and make right. an intelligence check. Okay. Um, so I'm going to do that. Actually, hang on a quick second, just in case it's an investigation check, in case you're proficient okay. in that. Okay. Right. Yes, make an investigation check, if you would. <clears throat> Okay. Ooh, healing spirit is still. Mm -hmm. It's a concentration. That would be ten. Let's see. Um, it requires. Uh, <clears throat> as you look at it, thinking, "Well, this doesn't make sense," um, but you actually get the smell of Ormia um, as she began to, you know, in that battle. Um, the blood, a couple, a little bit of her blood as she's, you know, ripping her hands back and flailing her hands about, fl flies off of her and onto your cheek, and you feel it warm and dripping down. Okay. All right. Um, I can go ahead and make my attack, so. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Well, I'm going to get this sucker with my short swords. Okay. Um, it on. leans down to put Ormia in the way of the, you know, as the focus of the attack. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a one face. Well, then, that was a, um, uh, an eight total. Mm. Um, oh, mm. that one misses, yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> Romina grabs the blade and pulls it against her chest and just draws it into her body on that first one. That's a 17. Next one hits. Yep. Great. <laughs> yeah. Um, that is... Yeah, it's a D... Yeah, geez. Um, so that is... Um, here, I'm just going to roll it in here because five, uh, oh, that's a five. Nice. Okay, you deal five points of damage as you slash down. You pull that sword out and slash down into space mm -hmm. uh, as far away from uh, or me as you can. You slash down into the body of the creature. Uh, drawing blood. <clears throat> okay. Um, that is, I think my turn is done there. Let me pass uh, it on. Okay. All right. Um, however, let's see. This. Like, ooh. <gasps> no, I can't do that. It's too terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. I guess we'll see. Um, it's, oh, that's right. Okay. So it, um, who else is here? We got any room for C. Felix is also in range. Um, oh, Felix. Turns to Felix. <clears throat> Actually, he doesn't even have to turn. Uh, Felix, of course, the ship is breaking apart for you. Um, but as uh, after, just after um, Kaylin's turn, pop it down here for a sec. It uses this action. <laughs> is it making an attack? Um, yes, but it's not a physical attack. In fact, it wouldn't be visible to anyone except for for Felix. <clears throat> um, so as I it's use my boarding flare. Uh, let me quickly check your boarding flare. Um, I can let's see. Interpose divine light between your uh, between uh, a creature you can see and an attacking enemy. Um, uh, so you can use reaction to impose disadvantage on the attack roll, causing the light to flare before the attacker or it hits or misses. Uh, okay, yeah, this one doesn't even have an attack roll. <laughs> um, yeah, and it's looking at uh, Kaylin, but let's see. Mm -hmm. Felix, you feel... Oh, all right, that's not too, too bad. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Um, you feel this, it's... it's raking attack uh, in your mind. It's like uh, nails on a chalkboard times 100. As you just hear like this terrible cacophony of screams and, 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 and terrible sounds. Uh, and you take nine points of damage. Ah. A little tiny wound on it goes, heals ever so slightly. Anyway, that was just one of its cool things I could do. Uh, Brixie, you're up. <laughs> look at these. Look at how cool they are. <laughs> it does look the tentacle <laughs> finger guns, too. <laughs> oh, gosh. Um, you're up, Brixie. Take your way. Okay. DC save of 14. Wait, okay. What's the range on that? Yeah, you have to be, I think, um, a little bit closer. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, range yeah. is self. You have to be right I... next to it. <clears throat> it's a 15 feet cube? Uh, well, it's a 15 foot cube that it casts, but the range is self. You've got to be right 
Well, I guess if you do it there, it'll reach it with a 15 foot cube, but you have to be, you can't be on a line. You've got to be in a square or another square. Like you would either have to be here or here. Right there is fine. Okay. Yeah. Does it save? Um, all right. Can I do his con save? Ugh. Nope. Fine. Con is only plus two, 10. Nope, so it fails. Yeah. <laughs> um, however. Wait, wait, wait. Does, who's, do they have to make a save? Whoever yeah, I was make? just saying that. Yeah, Kaylin, if you would make a constitution Sorry, saving throw as well, please. Hey, it's okay. It's okay. It's only seven. Seven oh, points? Seven. All right, let me add. Um, is, that would be 24. Woo! That saves. <laughs> saves. That's amazing. Wait, who's right here? Does Felix have to make a save? No. Nope. I, I oh, really? 15 foot, so you're good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. From where she's standing. Oh, no. 5, 10, 15 across, so. <clears throat> he catches the Abolith and Caitlin in that one. All right. Um, any anything else or any other movement for Brixie? I mean, you don't have any other things left except movement. If you had anything for that, oh, I used some of them. It's okay. Does this? Oh, and this gets arc prone. The little abolith does. Yeah, actually, it's knocked over the edge. Five, ten. Woo, that was my goal. Nice. Uh, it's oh. like half over with just the head still on on the thing. Uh, his tentacles are grabbing to the side there to try and hang on. Okay. Um, all right. Then that moves us over to Felix. Um, let's see. Could you describe how the boat, the ship, is um, breaking apart in my mind, Dan? Um, uh, clear across the deck, side to side there. So in this map, it'll be north to south. Um, currently it's the boards just starting to break underneath your feet. It hasn't completely busted yet, but the floorboards are cracking up. You can see through a little bit down into, uh, some of the cabins just below. Running right between your feet. Um, I'd probably just, um, uh, yeah, make... Yeah, make an investigation check first, as you think. Well, wait okay. a second. <laughs> Please don't roll low. <laughs> oh, that's a 19 plus 0, so 19. Nice. Okay. Um, yeah, you recognize this. Um, of course, it's it's an action, I guess, to do this. But you still have your bonus. Um, sure. Uh, but oh. you, you're like, mm, wait a second. And as, as you think that, you see, no, it just kind of fades away and reveals the regular intact ship. Um, I actually don't think I can do anything with my bonus if I haven't attacked. Let me just double check. Okay. Oh, so, no, yeah, I can I can go, go ahead and still use my rally. Um, yes. Or second wind. Or second wind. I'm not that, mm. I'm not that, that bad off yet. Um, can I see anyone who's kind of worse off than me? Uh, Kaylin, I don't know. Everyone's sort of good at this point. You'd only be able to see, I think, um, Mina, who's a little hurt. Kaylin's a little ish hurt. Okay. Um, I got a few scratches. Yeah, let's keep the healer alive. How about that? <laughs> Um, so superiority die, um... Protector back line? Yeah. <laughs> I think that's a d8, if not, not mistaken. Yeah. <laughs> you get one temporary hit point. Yes! <laughs> Huzzah! Big old so one. Big old one. <laughs> Is, it's not plus anything? Is it just your superiority die? Yeah, it's plus my intelligence modifier, which is zero. Oh. Or charisma, rather. Nice. <laughs> One of the two. Yeah. Um, let's see. That that could save a life. <laughs> that one hit point could save a life. 
Um, all right, the marrow here is, of course, going to attempt to attack Felix, who it's engaged with. Uh, I know, I'm sorry. Where my man is. <laughs> um, at the end of Felix's turn, <clears throat> the um, creature uh, hanging on um, the edge here. Let me just spin it a little bit to get it where it's supposed to be. Oh, no, it wasn't the right thing. Clinging on to the edge of this uh, boat. I don't know, she's out of range. So I don't think it can do that. Whew. That's good. Who's she? <laughs> the person it wanted to tank. Oh, can it do? It can't do that. Um, that's sort of a weird thing. Anyway, nope, it doesn't do anything. Yay! Okay, so anyway, the marrow goes to attack Felix. <laughs> um, it goes in for another a fresh bite. And I do warding flare, so it has okay. disadvantage. Oh, good. All right, good, because that was like a 25. All right. Uh, uh, come on, mouse. Oh, sorry. So... <laughs> There we go. And this one, oh, it was a natural one. Oh. <laughs> it goes into bite, and um, Mina stretches That's out her neat. hand. Yeah. <laughs> it's a, a flash of divine light from the palm of her hand. <clears throat> and it goes to try again. It was going in for perfect attack, and then totally blew it. Um, it does <laughs> lean back and try and get a claw attack across the back of your head, Felix. There we go. Twenty-one. <laughs> yeah, that'll that'll do it. All right. Oh, goes to cash across wow. the back, dealing. Yeah, not, I guess not too bad. Nine points of damage. Um, as as it kind of gets some of the hair. Yeah, but you're like, eh. <laughs> I've had worse. <laughs> okay, then the creature climbs back up. Um, let's see. It's here, so five. I'm just ten. taunting Dan and shot. <laughs> <laughs> nice one. <laughs> it's like a, yeah. Uh, <laughs> it climbs up to, um, let's see, what can it do? Oh, it can do that on its own without anything else. All right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can't do those, but it can do that. Uh, no, that's at the end of its turn. <sighs> Dry life or DM. It reaches its tentacles out towards Brixie this time <laughs> and, and tries to, um, as it keeps, she's been pelting it again and again with this thunder wave. Um, <laughs> and it's just had enough and it goes after um, Brixie here. The 28 to hit. Oh, yeah, that hit. <laughs> All right. Um, so it does 10, well, 10 damage. But I need you to make a constitution saving throw as well, if you would. And I con check? So. Um, uh, constitution uh, saving throw. <clears throat> and I need to do a con check, right? Um, yeah, I'll have you do that in a minute, because there may be other yeah. stuff going on. Concentration yeah. concentration checks are con saves as well, which can make a difference. Well, I'm going to go ahead and say that the eagles drop. I rolled a two. Oh, that's okay. This is your, this is just your constitution saving throw for what's, what's happening. Um, so as the tentacles bash you one after the other you feel little stings almost like um a jellyfish sting <laughs> and you receive an additional six points of acid damage uh, now there's some other fun stuff that goes on with this uh, oh gosh karma oh man it got back up, darn. 
Oh my. Okay. All right. Um, <clears throat> and you feel really uh, nauseous as well. Um, all right, that's all I can do currently for that. Uh, Hang on, let me roll my concentration check. Oh my gosh, I did not read that. Um, yeah, go ahead, uh, and you'll have to... Eagles are up. 16, Eagles are so up. Uh, they're up? Okay. Um, it, you, it does its next tentacle attack. Oh, natural 20! On me? Oh, I'm Brixie. Yep. It's done with Thunder oh. Wave, and it's like, mm-mm-mm. <laughs> Tentacles come bashing in again. Go ahead and make another con save. It goes, mm-mm, Z formation snap. Nice. Slimy. Um, A fresh con save, if you would, Brixie. Yeah, none of those stale concepts. Okay, so yeah. <laughs> for my constitution saving throw is um, six. Wait, yeah, six. Wait, sixteen. Okay, um, this time you feel that same sting, but you're able to uh, kind of guard a little bit uh, better against it, so it doesn't hit any any uh, weak spots in your armor, your leather, you know, your clothing. Um, it goes still up. Okay, nice. It does its third and final tentacle attack. Dan, we're only level six. <laughs> um, 11? 11? Yeah. Oh, oh, that is your AC. Okay. Um, uh, do you, yeah. Doing, uh, it just did. Oof. Oh boy. Eight points of damage. Go ahead and make a, a, the last constitution saving throw, if you would. That's a natural one. Yeah, the stings come through. You just can't guard against all these tentacles. <laughs> Dealing um, four points of damage. Nate, that oh, ends its... <laughs> nice. I keep concentration on my my spell um, all through his time and I'm happy. Okay. Let's see. Okay, so it has. All right. Um once again the tide swells comes over the boat um, swarming everyone. I need everybody to roll a strength saving throw. Oh no, not this again. Good. Let me get my... 18. Oh, uh, no, no problem. Let me grab uh, Mina if I'm out. I'll write him down. Four! Mm. Although you've got the things, you'll come. Uh, Kaylin, I'm sorry, it was <laughs> 18. Gosh, dang it. Nice. Um, Emil? Uh, did I have a, an inspiration from last session? I think I did, right? You do? Yeah. yeah. I don't think anybody used their inspiration last 21. Session. Ooh, 21, nice. <laughs> Thank you for that inspiration. That made a big difference. <laughs> yeah, no, oh, good, good. <laughs> Love it when it works well. Felix, yours is a. Um, 24 with a rolled 18. Oh, snap. Beautiful. Uh, Brixie? 11. Mm. Minus one strength. Oh, no. <laughs> All right. Let's, um, let me quickly get M here, wherever she's at. Oh, there she is. I'm glad for Caitlin's plus seven strength. Ah, <laughs> that's amazing. <laughs> Uh, not all Ooh, she got a 20. Mm. <laughs> all right, so this time it's only Brixie and Mina that get um, washed away and... Looks like your cleric's blasting off again. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
I am not a strong oh. person. Uh, the water grabs and draws you both off the boat. Um, Mina, um, this way. And oh, Brixie, this way. Um, <laughs> and draws you 20 feet under the water. Of course. I'm just on top. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you start immediately getting, I mean, it, it has a grass, so pulls you, you just immediately start floating Is back up. Yeah. <laughs> Brixie, oh. not so much. Um, so now I'm all wet again. <laughs> a massive wave. The boat starts to, to tip uh, upward like this as a huge monster wave. 50 feet uh, tall uh, is just coming up and taking the boat up, 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 up. And as it reaches the apex and it, it starts to slam right down, down, down into the next oncoming wave. Uh, and the force of the water... Um, crashing into the boat, uh, temporarily rocks it up and on, starts dipping into its side, into the ocean. And that's where we'll end tonight's session. Yay! <laughs> what? No. What? no, we got to keep going. It's <laughs> no one will ever ride in a boat again. Ever. <laughs> we started half an hour late. We got to keep going about a half hour. <laughs> Real dice. Man. I know. I, you know what? At the top of next episode, we'll use real dice for the battle, and when the battle's done, we'll switch to. Uh, fantasy grounds. Yeah, I think I rolled one d20 higher than a four. Can we? Can we not do that? <laughs> It'll be optional. Yeah, you can do either or. <laughs> um, Abelus is looking pretty, pretty beat up now. Uh, anyway, I was this. I was so close of pushing that thing mm. off. Oh, uh, it would probably. <laughs> a freaking demon. Oh. I'm so sad. <laughs> um, if I would have done more damage, I bet I would have pushed that mofo off. <laughs> You're going down, Abolith. Uh Just before this wave took over, um, as the boats, you know, perching uh, over the the crest of the wave, there, um, the Abolith, uh turns, and this time in a different voice, again in your mind, but a different voice. Uh, this deep bellowing voice just shakes your souls as it as it just says um, <clears throat> leave my lair and uh, it has this really cold chilling effect and it, it just feels like something really ancient um, you know what everyone make a quick perception check if you would holy crap Dan yeah, as I put my dice up. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> what, was that, Dan? what was that? Just a perception a check. A perception check, okay. 23. Ooh. 19 for me. Yeah. <laughs> 10. Good, <Get> Dan. <laughs> 24. Okay. Like, the high rolls come at the end, right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, Brixie, what'd you get? Uh, I think I'm doing that now. One moment, though. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, my God. I'm 20 total. Oh, gosh. Okay. So everyone but Kaylin. Sorry, Kaylin. <laughs> Maybe it's the height. You can't quite see over the rail. Um, <laughs> right. um, in. Wait, wait, wait. Dan. Well, I see this because since I'm in water... Gosh, you're you're really in for it. <laughs> this is what's going on, and all this is happening. Um, yeah, you know what? Even in water, you two would see this. Um, oh, where is that image? Hang on. You see, in that second wave. Oh no, he's got an oh. image. I don't think I have it in Fantasy Grounds now. Um, mm, that stinks. Uh, how can I do? You know what? Maybe I can just uh Quick, draw it. Yeah. <laughs> go, Dan, go. <laughs> that is awesome. <laughs> just do a quick impression of Chris easy. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Oh, was this it? Is it custom? Yeah. 
let's see. I'm sure it has a frowny face. Whatever it is. Yeah, probably. Um, I'm gonna guess I am missing some the water. jar. It's probably more, more tentacles. tentacles. Yeah. Some water. Why did Sam have to make Scalen's die so freaking hard to find? Yes. Because he was trolling everybody. That's I so know. Nice. And he trolled himself when he couldn't see his own dice on stream. I'm gonna put some clouds here. There's a boat. <laughs> That's awesome stuff. Well, I guess I don't have that image, but basically there's uh oh wait, maybe I do. Hooray, I think. <clears throat> boat right here. Mm -hmm. Well, on that note, um, Oh, here it is. Um, Oops. on that note, mm -hmm. um Geek Space is um streaming if we want to go raid somebody tonight. Okay, neat. I'm going to quickly... Oh, wait, wait. This is basically the image here. It's just a big, angry face. Oh, man. <laughs> that's, what, that's what it looks like, Dan, right? Oh, it's just a big, angry face. Right? Essentially, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like an elder elemental god of brown. <laughs> nice. The <laughs> <A> deep one. <laughs> awesome. Oh, yeah. that's just it. oh, there it is. Ooh, that's terrible. Okay. Essentially, in that second <laughs> um, wave, you see these uh, this really massive dark figure. <clears throat> Two giant light blue glowing eyes taking up essentially the entirety of the wave, the core of the wave. Let me just make sure this is picking up. On a, yeah, there it is. Moving along with the wave. A bunch of tentacles from its I've, chin. I've seen this before. The wave goes down. It's a cat backlit by the moon. It's nothing. It's 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 um, <laughs> and uh, that's where we'll end uh, tonight's session. Woohoo! All right, guys. No one's excited except you, Dan. No one's excited <laughs> except you. We're level six. <laughs> and we'll die a little oh. quick. <laughs> no, just roll up this character. Uh, might as well just start making a character then. Hey, I, I just got done making a new character. I don't need to make another character. <laughs> I've dealt you know with really one. D and D Beyond. <laughs> awesome. Hang on, they're not sponsoring us, are they? No. <laughs> not the that time, would be great. Not the time. <laughs> you get that one for free, D&D Beyond. <laughs> awesome. Now Thanks. you're gonna get. Now you're gonna get this song stuck in my head. So are we gonna go raise somebody? Is Can it you? Geek Space just all together? I think so, but if you look in. No, I can't open other tabs or my computer's like, oh, what? Uh, yeah, <laughs> cannot work. <laughs> There's another uh, suggestion in Discord, too. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, okay. But all in all, um, before we um, raid, um, um, tomorrow night, Sam is Central, I'm going to stream for a little bit and start oh. helping, start raising money for Extra Life. So. Nice. Um, it, I'm either gonna put a poll up, neither I'm gonna play Dream Daddy, or um, a game that community can all play. So giant box party? I don't know. I'm gonna put a poll up. Nice. Oh, thank you, Warren. Oh, you <laughs> yeah. Seven inspirations from you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, I don't have the <laughs> chat, but my. Uh, hmm. My channel is uh, impossible. Well, is you know where to, what to do. I'm too tired to talk. <laughs> I'll I'll just type it in for you. <clears throat> I think we have like a Mariah. There we go. Here's your Twitter and your Twitch. Yep. All right. And I'm also so close to 500 followers. So. Nice. No like follow. Woohoo! <laughs> it would be greatly appreciated. Awesome. It would be eternally grateful. <laughs> Does anyone else have anything they want to uh, mention or plug before we raid? 
I'm still making a module and I still have to populate NPCs with it. Mm -hmm. uh, so if you have a character that wants to be in a published um, module, not mm. through, it's not through Wizards of the Coast, but uh, it will be kickstarted once I've finished writing it. So sometime in the future. Nice. Um, if you want, if you want NPCs, um, you know, let me just at me on Twitter, which my Twitter is somewhere. Ferris Queen 89. Okay. Um, <laughs> Yes, oh. let me know, and I will. I have to populate an entire valley, which includes big cities, small towns. So, if you have an adventurer or some fun NPCs that you really love that didn't get enough of the spotlight, let me know, and I'll put them in there with your permission. Does it have? Does it have to be um, a certain level? No, I need. I need everything. So it doesn't I'm matter. Creating what's an entire world. Nice. <laughs> or other cool. people to use, so I have to put everything in there. <laughs> it's, it's a lot of it's a lot of things. Bring on the ideas. <laughs> what if there was a creature <laughs> that could take up the whole size of a wave, and there were people? Not just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's only a river. <laughs> nice. <laughs> it's just a valley. It's not an entire, you know, ocean. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Um, all right. Well, thanks again, players, especially for for uh, and and viewers for your patience tonight. Again, starting you know so late and get me getting all the baloney set up. Um, thanks for a great night, players. Again, you're amazing. I love watching all the things you do, and a fun battle tonight. Um, we'll probably wrap it up near the beginning of next uh, session. Wee! <laughs> Uh, and thank you, chat, for being hilarious and awesome and so supportive. And um, we'll catch you all. Next Friday, same time, 10 p.m. to 1 a.m. Eastern. And, uh, well, I guess I can announce that the official date now for the launch of the All Evil campaign is at the very end of this month, July 31st. It's going to be Tuesday nights, 10 p.m. to 1 a.m. You can find Devic there, and you can find Randy um, out of the folks that I think are in chat tonight. Um, okay, uh, I'm going to go have us raid um, Amy T. Falcone. And... Uh, Oh, with yeah. the folks and that we have. July 20th, mm. if, speaking of my module, July 20th, there will be, I will be DMing because Dan is not going to be here. That's so right. I will be doing first session of that, a little uh, one shot. Oh, I'll be watching because yeah. I'll be leaving late that night or early in the morning, like right after the stream. <laughs> <laughs> so if I'm awake, I'll be like, oh, sweet. <laughs> okay, so if you want a little preview, that's when that's happening. Okay. Excellent. <laughs> all right. Well, thank you all so much. I'm going to put us uh, set us up to raid over um, at Amy T. Falcone's <laughs> channel. And uh, y'all rock, everybody. Players, chat. Uh, just uh, I always have so much fun every Friday. Thank you so much. <laughs> um, all right. Okay. Have a great night, everybody. Bye. <laughs> okay, bye. Ha, ha, ha.